In this video, I'll show you how to turn your LEGO Power Function models into Bluetooth app-enabled remote-controlled models right here on Beyond the Brick. Hey there, I am Boone and welcome back to Beyond the Brick Workshop where I build mocks and experiment with official LEGO sets to push them to their limits. The kind folks at S-Brick have sent us a device that allows you to take your LEGO power function motors and lights and control them via Bluetooth from your smartphone or tablet. I'll show you their device, use it to turn an official LEGO set into an app-controlled RC, and I'll even show you how I built this wacky zombie apocalypse vehicle with features controlled from my smartphone. Let's take a look at what S-Brick sent me in the box. So here is the box that S-Brick sent me. I believe it says thank you in a bunch of different languages here. And it says S-Brick, build more, play more like never before. That's pretty catchy. We'll just flip this open here and see what they included. Here is the S-Brick itself. It looks like just the brick in there. Dump this out, let's see. Then they've sent us a bunch of power functions items. Anything left in here? Uh, sticker sheet, okay, so that's a sticker sheet that actually these would fit a lot of different Technic panels. Lots of things we could do with these stickers if you wanted to promote the S-Brick brand on your S-Brick mock. We've got a uh, Power Functions battery box. I'm just gonna open up all this stuff. We've got Power Functions, what is this? I think this is the L motor. Here's a Power Functions servo motor. Here's some instructions. Let's see, this is, um, power functions lights so we can put some lights on our mock and control that oh man this is gonna be cool then let's see oh some power oh more lights awesome Ooh, I have an idea for this this would be really cool and then this is what gets us from power functions to the old system so this is like the old system of electrical stuff you could power any of the like legacy power stuff from before power functions and otherwise this is just a power functions extension cord and finally we'll look at this open this up and we've got a little instruction booklet stickers and the s brick itself now this thing is pretty small it looks simple but I have a feeling we are going to find that it packs a huge amount of functionality as soon as we connect it to the app. So uh, let's check out the app now. You can download the app at your device's app store and after creating an Esbrick account, you can choose from one of the publicly available controlled profiles or create your own. This is where things get really cool. From the Esbrick website, you can design the layout of your custom control profile and load it to your device. So I'm going to start by creating a remote profile to test the functions of the Esbrick. I'll add a slider for motor forward and reverse, a button for a servo motor, and a button for a sequence of light effects. Now that I have the components hooked up for the test and the remote called up on the Esbrick app, you can see I can control from my smartphone the servo, the motor, and the light sequence. Awesome! Now it's time to add the S-Brick to a LEGO model that comes with standard power functions. Here I have the LEGO Technic Stunt Racer, which is powered by standard power functions battery box and controlled by a power functions infrared receiver. This is a lot of fun on its own, but we can take the experience up a notch by adding S-Brick. I'll start by removing the infrared receiver and replacing it with the S-Brick. I'm adding the power functions lights so I can create a light bar for this racer. Maybe it will be some kind of emergency vehicle. And I'll connect the existing drive motors to the S-Brick. I'll add a little cable management here for the lights and build a light bar with some red and blue transparent studs for lenses. Now I can activate the light bar by pressing my light sequence button on the app. 
we already have another whole level of functionality here, but we can have even more fun driving this thing around using the app control. Now I want to use Esbrick to add some really incredible functionality to a creation of my own. So I'm going to strip this stunt racer and turn it into something else. I recently found this old Duplo doll at a thrift store. One of the things I love about her is the Lego logo embroidered on her dress. And I think she has these super creepy eyes. So I think it would be hilarious to build some kind of zombie apocalypse vehicle for her to drive around. Something that looks super dangerous for her to drive and maybe mow down the undead. Let's dive in. So I started by building just the chassis of the alternate build for this Lego model. But from here up, it's going to be completely my own design. I want the front of the vehicle to have a giant row of circular saw blades that I can control from the Esbrick app. So this is actually a bag I recently picked from used bulk specifically for this project. You see a lot of yellow, a lot of black, a lot of gray. That's the color scheme I'm going for here. And uh, there's a couple of these in the bag, which are exactly what I had in mind for holding out the uh, beam that will hold all of our blades. And then for our girl here, I found this thing, and I think that'd be really funny if she had like some sort of bandolier on like that or something like that as she's like driving this thing around. It's gonna be super awesome. I've built a platform for the girl to stand on and I'll build the rest of the vehicle around her. I'll attach my lights up here on either side of her head. We gotta have caution stripes and definitely think it would be cool to have some kind of giant turbine on the back of the vehicle. I'll add some greebles to the side for detail and there's just one gap in the back that I think needs to get covered up with a panel. I'll test my functions here and head to the computer to design the final Esbrick app control layout that I will use for the mock that I'm now calling Lil Zoe's Zombie Reaper. Here you can see my controls in the Esbrick app for my mock and I can turn on the light sequence, run the saw blades, and drive the Zombie Reaper around. <laughs> oh, this thing is so cool. I'm really blown away by the S-Brick and what it's able to do with power functions components from LEGO. I will definitely be experimenting more with this product in the future. If you want to give it a try, S-Brick is offering an exclusive discount to viewers of Beyond the Brick and you can check the video description for details. If you have an idea of something I should try here in the Beyond the Brick workshop, I'd love to hear it in the comments section. If you want to see great LEGO videos every day, I also want to invite you to subscribe to Beyond the Brick. And as always, thanks for watching.